Hello there and welcome to Lock of the Irish, or the first part that is, where we'll be trying to, well, take over the British Islands as one of the Irish miners. As you know, I've chosen Connaught because of the fact they have the best military ruler. And unfortunately, it seems that my game, well, the fact that my game cra crashed after I had actually done my, my thing here, means that I have to make a military general as my ruler again, and I'm quite lucky with having Tree Shock. And uh, that's actually quite weird that I got that much, but. Yeah, I feel kind of bad that I actually had to do that, but the game crashed and apparently it doesn't save things like creating rulers or something like that. I only think everything was saved for some reason, but not that general, uh, which is I find quite peculiar, but that doesn't matter. As I said, we'll do Lock of the Irish. I'd chosen Connor because he's the best king or the king with the highest military stat in this case, and we'll be most likely to just go ahead now and declare a war on Minster, a, uh, well, a... Uh, a conquest will take Minster, and that should work out just all in my favor. We'll also go ahead and hire Mercs, I believe, and I'm pretty sure I'll actually go straight out for a conquest of the entirety of Ireland. I'll take a bunch of loans, but I'll be I'll be get rid of Leinster and Ulster as, at once. That'll basically allow me to be ready to find the uh, the English, and for that, those hopes, we'll definitely be hoping that the war they currently are in against the French will be a lengthy one. So I'll actually suffer some, uh, or at least some, uh, I don't know how to put it, so at least I get some high war exhaustion and potentially uh, allow me to uh, to try and poach, I guess I could call it, try and poach the uh, the uh, provinces back from the, uh, back from the, uh, let's see, uh, minus two a month, uh, I can live with that. It's better, uh, I'll of course just go ahead now and lower army maintenance basically to a null. No reason for me to have a fleet at all at this stage, we'll just put it down and with that will be minus 0 0.38. I can live with that, so I'll be waiting now for the siege to end, but as I was saying here, yeah, I want the war to end here, I want to be friends with Scotland for the time being, screw over England, then screw over Scotland, and hopefully, as I said, if the English war actually lasts for a long time, I could potentially get meth here, simply the fact that if it will last very long, the... Uh, Munster entered a military alliance with our enemy Tyrone. That's actually quite good. That's, I'm pretty sure that means that, yeah, that's too bad. Leinster actually added or ended up in an alliance as well. So next war will be me versus both of these guys, and that is not good for me in the term that I'll have to raise a enormous amount of troops. But it shouldn't be anything that I should be uh, should be worried with, anyways. So as I said here, now we'll be uh, finishing the siege. I'll be training some more uh, more troops. And we'll basically just see how, how it all turns out. But I'll be going for taking all of Ireland within 5 or 10 years, a decade at most now. So uh, we'll see how it turns out. As you can see, the siege is over, and that basically puts me in a position where the annexation is basically what will be coming. I need to get my guy back from Scotland, though. I'm also racing, uh, well, my standing with the, the French. And as such, we'll also take a one year loan. Ooh. A loan of one? No, I do not want to do that. I want to take a loan of something more. Apparently, Leinster and uh, Tyrone is currently at war. I could not be happier. <laughs> so, as it were, because the fact that they are currently fighting means that I can just do this: go for a straight out. Oh, let's see. Yeah, they're at war with Tyrone. I'll be getting my diplomat back, and I'll be taking Leinster as a reward, more or less. Insult Leinster. Well, that's too bad. I want to conquer them. So that will take a line instead, we'll go for that one then. And apparently the... Well, apparently they got defeated. Well, this is a golden opportunity, more or less. As you can see, the Tyronean army is currently standing here. Well, I'll just leave it as it is right now, because... There's no real incentive for me to actually declare war on Tyrone straight away. Because of the fact that... They defeated Leinster for me, which basically gives me a free pass on the Irish front. So I was actually... Well, more or less prepared to actually hire four or five more mercenary squads so I could actually fight both Leinster and Ulster at the same time. But at least now I'll be able to take Leinster and then simply declare war on Ulster afterwards. I'm a little bit unsure who they're actually allied with though, and that is kind of spooky here. They're not actually allied with anyone, which is quite good. And also the fact that there are Provencal uh, soldiers in math. Uh, that's good for me though. Patriots might rise then. Still bad chance though, but at least the English will get some more war exhaustion. Provinces are completely under siege here. It seems that the French and Burgundy guys have come to some sort of an agreement. They will at least allow military access, so they're not completely uh, mad at each other. But yeah, there is quite a lot of Provencal uh, soldiers here, so I'm kind of wondering how weak England actually is. Because if 
they can actually drop that many troops into, uh, well, a English province. That's kind of scary, but yeah. Let's, uh, let me stop the chit-chat and just uh, get lines to siege, and then we'll declare war on Ulster. My apologies to Rowan, but I I have a bad habit of simply calling them by, or one province minus by, the name of uh, the province they hold. That is a bad habit of mine. I might actually have to try and uh, try and rectify it, but for the time being, I, I hope you guys can live with it. If not, I'm... Uh, I'm... Uh, my apologies, more or less. That's basically what I'm trying to study myself uh, for too. So army maintenance back at full. Uh, once we get full, uh, well, let's make it easy. Once I actually back at full uh, military strength here, we'll be declaring war on the uh, on the, uh, Tyrone here, and that basically means that I have the parts of Ireland that I can take. Uh, probably have or oh, wait one more month. Uh, I have no idea how many loans I'll actually end up with. It's probably just a few. I can of course live with that because, well, getting Ireland done quite soon is of course in my best interest. But it seems that I have a backfire here, a pretty severe backfire as it were. So we'll be hiring some more troops I think. I'm not sure if we can actually do that, but I can always hope. I know the, I actually didn't check now if the king was good, that was what the problem was, but it might be, uh, might be just that. I'll take a couple more loans to... Uh, buy some more mercenaries. Uh, hopefully it will, it will be enough. If not, I'm kind of in uh, kind of in the uh, in a troubled area more or less. Apparently my morale is quite low for some inexplicable reason. Uh, but yeah, here. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll allow morale to be regained and hire some more mercenaries and then we'll try another battle and see if we can if we can make a change or not. I have no idea. I've taken 14 loans so far, so it's getting kind of hairy. As you can see, I finally got it done with. The army was a little bit of a... It's kind of weird how that actually worked out, because we were ping-ponging it back and forth for quite a while. Uh, he basically had a... He had, the generals were the same, so I don't actually know how he, well, made such a uh, big fuss out of himself, more or less, and that is kind of what's kind of annoying me. But yeah, I need to uh, put down some of my armies. I actually have nine regiments, six of them mercenaries, so of course I have to put some of them down simply to be able to save or get back the money now. Repay the loans and then we'll be preparing for a war against England. I'm pretty sure I have about 20 loans right now. 19 of them. 19 times 6 should be 114. So that puts me in a very bad spot. I need 114 gold. Which means I'll most likely just allow my armies or yeah, that my armies to just stand down completely. Because, well, if I actually do, that will allow me to... Uh, to uh, well, to some extent, save up the money, repay the loans and also build up a transport fleet. One or two... One or two ships is enough, and then simply land them uh, or place them all in uh, in Scotland. All my troops, except for two thousand, to siege Math here. And well, other than that, not really much to do. I'll use my other guy here to fabricate some claims. I think. Let's see, a covered action, fabricate a claim on Math, and we'll also fabricate claims on Cumbria, Lancashire, Gwynedd, on Glamorgan. I'm pretty sure I'll actually take this these provinces or these two release them as vassals and then feed them some of the provinces uh, I'll probably give them three of each as you can see loans are coming due and well I do not like that I might actually have to extend a lot of these so <laughs> we'll see how things turn out but for now I'll focus on sieging well that's kind of timely it's the build to hit um, but while I'm at it well we'll reduce that and we'll boost it up there I think I have enough admin points to uh, take Ulster well, this is what I did not want to see. The English actually have quite a lot of troops, so potentially I could get into quite a hairy situation here. But at the very least, they're still at war with uh, with the French, and thus the war exhaustion is racking up. And that is definitely to uh, to my advantage here. And as long as that war well goes on, I'm kind of uh, happy with it. Let's see, we'll get seven from England, and that's basically it. So no one actually cares if I actually unify Ireland, and that is kind of funny. But it makes sense, really. The uh, the enemy of my enemy. Let's see, Burgundy. Nope, create a proper fleet. Can, I can go for that one. As I said, army stand... Oh, let's see. We'll destroy the Merc army. I think that should be enough. I'll keep the other ones because it will be expensive to, uh, to rebuild them. And yes, we'll try this and see if we can... Uh, we can sort things out, repay some of these loans, and hopefully I can uh, get my nation, my nation up and running again. Also tried to royal marriage uh, Scotland. It seems to have war with the English here. 
Scottish Conquest of Cumbria. That's actually quite good. Um, if the Scottish actually defeat the English, which it seems they are not doing, uh, it seems they are currently under siege, which I do not like at all. So army strength, navy strength, distance between borders. So at the time being, I will not get an alliance with uh, with Scotland, but at the very least, I'll at least be able to um, to land my troops there before a wow. I'll actually just have to allow those guys to um, to take the province and then, well, agree to their terms, I guess. But yeah, as of now, I'll just focus on repaying loans and we'll see how uh, how things turn up. As you can see, military attack force me reach, which is Pike Square. It gives uh, military attack per zero point with fire land morale by a half uh, a point, and I can now build armories. Uh, all of them, those are things that are actually quite tempting to get, simply because of the fact that by getting them, I could potentially. Uh, Please myself quite a bit. Also became a core, which basically means uh, meth is all or meth uh, is all that's that missing to uh, to actually be able to form Ireland. And as you can see, the Scottish are actually doing some progress here with the sieges, but I believe no, the English are actually not sieging anything, and the French have actually occupied the capital. So what I would actually have loved to right now is go ahead and well, I hate I hate my nobles seriously, but. Uh, I can live with that. Paying off the loans and then we'll consider if we want to attack England ourselves. I'm pretty sure we do not want to right now. We want to have some money so I can actually hire about 10k mercs or have a 10, 20k army myself. Then, <coughs> then uh, my apologies to then go off to England. But I'm a little bit unsure how many troops they actually have. Let's do a quick little check here. Armies um, total. Or we'll do it by country. Simply that's easier. England, where are you? my old friend England they have 9,000 troops so we will not be attacking them if they had none then I might have considered going off the math here but it seems that the English troops are actually in Calais so that could be an interesting turn but I have to see uh, what the French actually takes if they take uh, all five of these I'll actually be kind of disappointed because that means the French will not most likely not end up in a war with them in the future and that is not good for me at all. It might sound good, but it really isn't because as long as the French stay off the island, they are a godsend to uh, to help me on this one. So as I said, for now, I'll be focusing on getting my all of my loans repaid, and then we'll consider if we'll uh, make any moves on England or when we will be making our moves on England. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll see how things go. As you can see, all of my loans have been repaid. You don't have any loans, which is quite good. And my army are more or less almost back to scratch. The Scottish are almost taking all of England. And other than that, the uh, Maldesian, Maldonesian heretics have taken Calais. And they also have Labourd still, even after the war with the French. And that is a very positive thing for me. Because the French will be going off that Labourd court. Uh, probably if we attack them. Or I sh perhaps I should say, especially if we attack them. Because as soon as the... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, as soon as the English are perceived this week, the French will definitely take advantage of that. But for the time being, I'll just be sitting by, seeing what England actually, or what how much Scotland actually ends up taking. And for those of you who notice my prestige, it's due to the uh, heretics that rose up and seized my province. I had to accept their demands, which cost me 50 prestige. I can live with that. But as I was saying here, I'm currently just fabricating claims to the English provinces that I am interested in. Gwynedd, uh, Gloucestershire, Cornwall, I'll probably fabricate on these two as well. Just in case the uh, the Scottish don't take them, but I kind of think they will. And also, as I said now, if I actually end up uh, in some sort of, I don't know, arrangement here with Scotland and Alliance, then England is basically done and then I can backstab Scotland as soon as, uh, as, soon as the job is done, I guess. So let's see. Can I actually get any deals with uh, with the French here? Probably not, due to well, as you can see, army strength and navy strength is basically what uh, makes that alliance not a possibility. But for the time being, I'll just sit tight and we'll see how uh, the English Scottish peace treaty actually ends up. As you can see, the Scottish have accepted my proposal to enter into military alliance. All good in uh, in that aspect. And I'm also tempted to, to take a look here at England uh, again now as things are standing. FG, yeah, well, there we go. England has zero troops at all, and that is quite a positive thing because as things are standing now, if the Scottish don't actually make peace very soon, I will definitely be taking this opportunity. The English have no troops. The Scottish will be taking some land. Uh, so why the hell wouldn't I take this opportunity? The only problem now will be getting my my. Uh, 
soldiers, I guess, over the uh, the channel. So I'll be probably dumping 10, 20,000 men or 15. Well, uh, skip that. As you can see, the Scottish took two provinces. But it, it weakens England, so I can't actually uh, complain here. Well, Jesus lived among beggars and fishermen, so why don't you? I have no... Well, I have no... Uh, how should I put it? No desire to take the... Uh, to take the... Uh, Actually, but I have no desire to take the um, the papacy, so the uh, papal state can hate me as much as they want. There's no one who's actually going to do anything about it, or how should I put it? There's no one that's actually going to punish me for hating the papal state uh, anyway, so I'm safe, more or less. But yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be trying to drop off my troops now in Scotland, and I'll basically have them as a stationary force over there, and in five years' time, I'm pretty sure I'll be going after the uh, after the English and with that we should be able to, uh, well, force some trouble here. I'll basically be waiting for the Scottish Treaty to end. And once it does, we'll be declaring war on uh, on England. And by that time I might actually get Military Tech 5. I might actually just declare war once I get it. Because with Military Tech 5 I will have better troops and thus I should be able to beat them. Let's see if they still are with Portugal. I kind of doubt it. Portugal, Navarra and Minster. Portugal could be an issue here, but I kind of hope that they won't be. So uh, we'll probably wait for Scotland. So around f uh, in five years' time, we'll most likely declare war. So thank you for watching this first part. I hope you have enjoyed it. And this will probably be a very short series. I would guess between five and ten episodes. We'll have to see. But uh, next time, we'll most likely have a war against England. So uh, as I said, thank you for watching. Please have a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like. And I'll see you around next time. Bye.